Okay. Welcome to the farm. Today we're going to jump right into the game. There's no new mods out. So we'll just get this loaded up straight away. All right, I've done some off camera work. Cleaned up the yard a little bit from last time. Got everything put away. It's uh, 8 a.m. on a September morning. I also um, took care of the field work. So my fields are prepped and I've got quite a list of things to do today. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, drive around. Let's, let's go back to drone mode here. So um, grass fields, three grass fields, they are ready for mowing. So we will get them mowed probably today. Uh, but that's a little bit later on the to-do list. Uh, chickens. Chickens are ready, so I've got a good amount of eggs here. I also, I'm fully maxed out on my chickens, and I'm thinking to sell the older chickens, raise a little bit more money, and just want to see how that goes. Uh, and of course, then they will breed and, and bring some new chickens in. Uh, back here, I've got the... Um, forage wagon hooked up. It's full of straw. I uh, picked this up off my wheat field when I harvested it. I dumped uh, some extra and I've got one full load that I'm going to haul off and sell uh, to whoever is paying the most. fields are all prepared, so they have been limed and fertilized, then cultivated, and then fertilized again. So each field should be uh, fully prepared, 100% fertilized, and as we can see here, um, there is no lime needed. Great. Good to go. Well, the grass fields need lime still, but I'm not working on those at the moment. So I do need to do some planting and get the crops in. I don't know what I'm going to plant just yet. I do need to take a look and see. All right, let me, uh, let me park here. I want to look at a couple of things. So first of all, um, we only have wheat and sorghum in the bin here. Of course, I'm using sorghum to feed the chickens. So sorghum is one crop that I'm considering putting down, maybe on one of the smaller fields, uh, basically just to get some chicken feed. Check the status here. Uh, so, tomatoes and lettuce have uh, plenty of water for the moment. I will need to add water next month. Uh, my canola oil production, I have processed um, a good amount of that canola oil. It looks like I've got 9,600 liters of canola remaining, and I've produced about uh, 4,500 um, liters of canola oil, which is currently sitting and waiting for uh, me to do something with it. All right, so as we continue along here, As I said, I need to check the calendar. I want to see what crops, but I'm pretty sure right now I am able to plant wheat, barley, and canola. 
Um, I do want to get some sorghum in the ground, but I don't believe I can plant sorghum right now, so I might have to choose another time uh, to do that. Let me just set one of the fields aside. Um, I do tend to like to go with the wheat. I can get a little bit better price out of it. I also get the straw, and so, so that's also uh, one of the crops. And then certainly canola, um, although, you know, I'm just not convinced about that oil mill. I don't know that that is the best way to go. So I've got everything put away here, um, staged and ready for the day. Ah, very interesting. So we have a Mahindra. It's a 60% discount. And uh, right now with only $63,000 in the bank and $465,000 balance on my loan, I'm basically investing in used equipment primarily. I do think this is an interesting purchase at this price. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay, so as long as I'm there, um, let's shut that off. As long as I'm there, let's head back up and this trailer, I can transport vehicles, pallets, um, etc. So I am going to buy this one. Now I have had this previously. I got rid of it because I needed to buy a trailer that I could put crops into. Um, however, I now have a little bit more money in the bank. So I think this is a good purchase to put back. I can tow it with the uh, Mahindra that I just purchased. Um, Although that's quite a long trailer for a little vehicle, but I can also tow it with the pickup truck. So I don't need to use one of my tractors to move things around, such as the eggs. $251 to put this thing back into good condition. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but the, the repaint costs seem just a bit unrealistic to me. Um, and I don't know whether the paint is impacting the maintenance requirement. You know, so, so theoretically, the paint is protecting the... Um, the vehicle uh, and if the paint is deteriorating the vehicle could rust or or something of the sort um, but you know maybe this is something Giants needs to fix I don't see any problem with the paint job on this vehicle and so I'm not going to spend $1,200 to repaint it when I can spend $200 to repair it all right. So I think cruising around the farm at a nice low speed is going to work fine. But um, obviously, if I get this thing up to speed and then hit the steering wheel, I'm going to start having some problems. So low speed towing around the farm is probably okay. Now we definitely are in an improved situation here. I can much more easily much more easily pull this trailer with the pickup truck. All right, so let's do some chicken management here. It'd be nice if this pallet was full. Um, I might just take the full pallets. I do like that I can pick those pallets up.
Okay, eggs are loaded the way I would like them to be. So I leased this uh, small forklift. I do want to. I do want to uh, try something here. Mm -hmm. Right button. Let's lift the forks. Let's drive this up here. So this is a test. If it works, then I will consider investing in a forklift, which I can use with this trailer. Well, would you look at that? So I can throw some pallets on this trailer. Bring those forks down. It seems that this is going to work just fine. Inches to spare, but I am able to I'm able to lock it down. Forks and pallets. So I could theoretically stack those pallets another level or two high and pull them behind a truck. bigger truck. And that's a fail. All right. Well, we got cleaned up from that little accident. And uh, let's go ahead and get these things processed here at the fast food. Uh, no, this is the bakery. Where am I going? I am going to the fast food restaurant, not the bakery. I'd really like to be able to pick up those eggs and sell them, but, uh, you know, they are, oh, took some of my eggs. I didn't want to sell eggs at the bakery. All right, well, we'll get the rest of them sold at the fast food restaurant. This one's a little bit strange. I mean, I understand the door on the side of the restaurant here for deliveries, but can't just uh, pull in the way you normally like to. Well, I got $800 for the small amount of eggs that got picked up by the bakery. And I got another 32,000 for those eggs. Eggs are great. All right, let's get down to those chickens. 
And let's go ahead and get the old chickens sold. Um, it means that my egg production will decrease. However, I want to understand the money that I can make from these chickens. 360 chickens. If I'm selling some of them, is it worth it? I think it's not. I think there's no reason to sell the chickens. The eggs are a far better deal. So, never mind. While we're here, let's go ahead and park this on the side. And we are going to take care of getting this straw delivered. Now, as you can see, I've got 133 liters of straw, 133,000 liters of straw. There's no reason to keep this. I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. It doesn't matter what the price is right now. Um, you know, we'll just take the money as it comes. So best price is at the animal dealer. Well, no surprise there. It typically is. Shields a little dirty on this tractor. Probably should run it through the pressure washer. I'm playing with the steam controller and the uh, right joystick is the right joystick is not um, really working quite the way I want it to so sometimes you'll see as I'm adjusting the camera view it stops and starts stops and starts and that's a factor of the settings but I've been unable to determine a setting that's going to be better for me all right, so this will bring in, I don't know, maybe four or $5,000 if we're lucky. $51.55. We'll take $51.55. Get this back to the farm and move on to the next project. Next project actually should have been my first project, come to think about it. Get the seeding started, um, the planting started. I'm going to use a helper. And so I should have had this going while I've been running around, taking care of everything else. Um, so it looks like I can top the cedar off. And let's go ahead and close the cover. So this planter that I have um, allows me to bypass the cultivating. However, you know, I put lime and uh, two 
fertilizer treatments into the ground um, while I was doing other work I just went in and ran that cultivator um, so that I was able to get all of that into the ground ready to go and now I can put the seed in and I am done all right seed is going into the ground um, we've got a worker I don't know the worker's name I assume it's worker A we'll just call him worker A this is what I'm curious about here a little bit tight on this end but it seems that we're gonna manage it okay I do wonder how this tree is going to be managed as we come in here I think we just have enough room yeah I think we're gonna be okay I think we have just enough room to get the cedar situated yep no problem All right, we decided against selling chickens. We're gonna let them produce the eggs. So we'll come back over here to the house. And get set up for the next job. Now I have considered to pick up a baler and do some wrapped bales. Um, to make silage. It seems that that would be useful. Um, however, balers are not on sale. And I am going to go ahead and wait for this field to get finished before I start the tether. Is it tethering? Tedding? Tethering? I don't know. I think it would be tedding. And we'll take a look at the seating. Twenty five percent, thirty percent of this field's done. Okay, the canola is in, and we'll get the wheat 
going now. Also, the fields have all been wind, wind road. And this is actually my absolute most favorite part of farming. For some reason, I just love the forage wagon. I do have a little bit of cleanup on the ends. I'm gonna have to run over to get the extra around the edges. However, uh, one of the nice things is these fields are absolutely perfectly lined up. So I can essentially, other than the edges, get two fields done very efficiently and quickly here. There's something about running a forage wagon across the field, picking up the hay or the straw, and the uh, watching the field get cleaned. Very satisfying. squirrely. Okay, first load done. A couple of deer hanging out there. And I did say that I put this in too tight. Yeah, I have to swing it wide here. Ah, oh, total failure. So, I struggle a lot coming in it from that angle. When I come in from the other direction, it seems to go a lot better for me. Um, you know, I may be able to do... Yeah, it's, here I am driving on the field. I may be able to do a little bit better landscaping. And... Uh, get things... improved in that situation. Pick up the next load. All right, final load. Let's uh, see if we can make this work a little bit better coming into it from another angle here. Should get our chip point. Okay. Crops are in. At least two fields. Hay and canola. Grass is done. Hayloft is completely full. Next time I do a grass harvest, I'm going to have to do uh, 
silage, I think. I might be looking for a baler. So, last step today. I'm gonna wash up. That brings us to the end of September. And I think I got all the jobs accomplished that I intended to do today. So we'll head on into the house. Okay, that'll do it. We'll see you in October. <laughs>